Hi class. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do some bandage wraps. So we're going to go over the circular turns, the spiral turns, and recurrent, and also the uh, reverse spiral. Okay? So when you're doing wound care, sometimes we have to wrap with either um, the gauze wrap or an ace wrap like I have here. You want to hold your gauze wrap or your ace bandage wrap just like this with your roll up, okay? You don't want it underneath because this will give you better control of your roll. Any wrap that we do, we want to start with circular turns. So the first demonstration I'm going to show you is just the basic circular wrap, okay? Just your basic circular wrap, you just keep going around in the same area. All bandages start with the circular wrap first. So then to do the spiral, you want to go halfway up with your turns each time. So here I'm going to come halfway up the arm. And as you go, you want to give a little tension each time. You don't want it to be too tight but you don't want it to be too loose also because the whole point is to provide support. And so you can see the spiral turns on that wrap, okay? Each turn is halfway up. So now I'm going to show you the reverse spiral. With the reverse spiral, again, you want to start with the circular. You place your finger here in the middle of the turn, and then bring it down and around and up. Come back up, and do the same thing again. Place your finger here, and come down, down and around. So this will give you a nice crisscross pattern like you see here. And we'll just do one more turn. What the spiral, the reverse spiral gives you is a lot more support for your patient to help prevent um, edema. And so you can see that crisscross pattern with the reverse spiral. Now I'm going to go over um, the proper way to wrap a hand with the figure eight. So you want to start in the middle of the palm. Let's say your dressing is here, your gauze is here, you're with your wound or on the back. That's where you want to start. So let's say that my wound is here in the middle of the palm. Again, you start with the circular. Come around, provide some good tension. Come down and around the wrist. Come back down again around the hand. And then do your figure eights going up, down, and come back down and around. You're going to make like an X with the bandage. Up, down, and come back around. And so you can see the crisscross pattern of figure eight that's happening there with that. also want to go over the recurrent bandage, and I'll just pretty much use your fist for that. The recurrent bandage we usually use on stumps, and we also use them on um, a hand if we need to. Um, and we can also use them on a um, foot. It depends on what kind of uh, wound you have. So I want to start again with my basic circular turn. Come down and around. And then you want to kind of make a loop. Come down and then come back around. And cover those areas that are open in the front. So you don't want to leave those flaps. You want to cover those flaps up. And have it covered just like that. Okay? So there's no opening there. And then, after doing that, you want to go into the figure eight turn. Up, down, and come back around. Up, down.
down and come back around, just like that. So you can see the figure eight pattern starting to happen right here. Typically, we like to secure our bandages with um, tape as opposed to the little clips that come with the bandage. Um, that's for better safety for your patient so they don't get stuck by those clips. Okay, please let me know if you have any questions.